guys, it's me Astrid, and it's been a long time since I've made a video, like really long. So I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on my life and say hello and let you know I'm still around. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like make videos regularly for a little while, but I just wanted to give you a life update, I guess. So first off, um, <laughs> the biggest reason I haven't been making any videos is um, because my dad died in May um, and that's been really 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 hard on me um, he was 85 years old I had a really old dad he had me when he was like 59 so it was late in the game so I got less time with him than your average person gets with their dad you know but um, I'm so grateful for the 26 years I did get to spend with him and the relationship we had and all that. Um, but yeah, he died and, and that's been really, really hard. And so with working full time and my dad being gone and, and dealing with grief and loss, as we know some of our friends have also dealt with this year. Um, I haven't really felt like making YouTube videos. Um, uh, uh, when my dad died, I, as part of my grief, I cut off all of my orchid flowers and, um, I made them into a bouquet for his funeral. So I haven't had any orchid flowers for a while. I have like one flower right now and, um, my orchid collection is infested with thrips like they're just fucking everywhere and because I'm so down and stuff I can't really get the ball rolling to want to go to go to the plant store and get the chemicals and put this systemic pesticide on my plant and really deal with this problem once and for all like you know so my plants are looking shit my catacetums um, have really really taken the brunt of this infestation and so a bunch of their growths just like withered and died because they were eaten up by these fucking bugs and it's just a mess like like sometimes life is just really shitty and um I mean otherwise things are okay I love my job and I love my boyfriend and I'm love my family that's still with me, you know, and I, I have everything that I could possibly really need and most of the things that I want. So, I mean, as far, as far as things go, you know, aside from the great loss I'm experiencing, things are okay, but, you know, so <laughs> this year of orchid growth has been greatly stunted and, um, yeah, like I've had struggles watering my plants and keeping up on it. I've had struggles all the way around, so that's me. I'm sorry, this video is probably a really huge bummer, but I, I have a lot of you guys commenting and asking like, Hey Astrid, where's your update? Hey, where have you been? And I'm like, I've been in a depression hole, a grief hole, you know? <laughs> that's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, I guess I could show you my collection really quick and show you the thrip damage because I mean we're already on a downer so let's get worse let's go let's go <laughs> okay so I've uh, had my plant lights off for a few days as well because um it's been like a hundred Fahrenheit out which is like what 38 or 40 Celsius and I just I can't deal with that but anyway here are my plants I've got these guys as you can see like they're the, you know they're suffering from being a little underwatered um, I got my whole fowl tray here my Sideria japonica has grown like a lot of roots like it's doing pretty well um, some of my catacetums, as you can see, lost all their leaves already. Um, my cycnodes... Oh, holy shit! My cycnodes wine delight is in spike, you guys. I'm a little bit shocked right now. I'm gonna have to spray it a lot to keep the thrips off the spike. The thrips destroy spikes, by the way. 
That's my Fred Clark Yara After Dark SVO Black Pearl. It is also a little underweight this year. Um, here's my one and only flower. This Catlia, um, I think it's like Big Love or Big Winner number nine or something like that. It's, it's doing well. Um, my plants that I ripped up down to the pseudobulbs have grown new growths and not become infested with thrips, which is kind of cool. Um, these guys are really dehydrated and the worst of the thrip damage, like I said, is down on these catacetums. You can see these leaves are totally just fucked up with, with insect bites and these leaves are also totally fucked up and I've got dead leaves, you know. It's a hot mess, you guys. It's it's really just, that's what it is. And, uh, yeah, plants are not doing so hot this year. But next year, we always have next year, don't we? Yes, we do. Anyway. Oh, and my, um, my propagation experiment of these little catacetum back bulbs, it... It had 100% success. Every single back bulb, even the little tiny dinky ones that I ripped off of my uh, catacetums, they all sprouted new growths. Every single one. So that's kind of nice. But, but yeah, guys, that's where your girl at. Like, we, it's, it's just the way life is. So, um... I hope that my plants get better at some point, like I hope them get better and I hope that I have nicer updates for you in the future and uh, thank you all for sticking around and saying hello and checking in on me and wondering how I'm doing. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.